finally healthy again. This is where we are with Mob Enforcer. There used to be a title here, but it disappeared due to a glitch, which is a great way to start a game. Uh, however, there was never anything here. I'll explain more about the game after the uh, intro rolls, which will be now. Yeah. Hey, do you know where I can find a good shop house? Try Nick's on Lakeshore. I'll do that. Name's Joe Tessio. Mr. Capone asked me to help you learn the ropes. So, you're a fighter? <laughs> I was. Well, it never hurts to be ready for a scrap. But the boss expects his men to be as loyal as hunting dogs. Don't ever forget that. You hear? Yeah, I got it. Good. It was your first assignment, was to visit an old friend who has a little problem with loyalty. It's like this. Needles Gennaro, who's one of our top men, has a date with the DA. The boss doesn't like rolling the dice. So he wants you to personally deliver a message to Needles. Where's he stashed himself? Word on the street is that Gennaro is hiding on the north side, near Belmont Station. You should start by squeezing Mitz Casella, Gennaro's right hand, to find out where Needles is holed up. Mitz is a weasel who hustles dames to make a buck, so he should fold like a card table. <laughs> now, get going, kid. Alright, so that's uh, most of the story. There's some more right here uh, basically saying that you need to kill him, or why you need to kill him, more detailed, but not too important as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to go ahead and holster the weapon. This is where you start. And it's a train station. And uh, sorry about that beep when the cutscene was going. That was me pulling up the information for the game so I could uh, make sure I get it right. It's from 2004 by Touchdown Entertainment and published by Valuesoft. One of my favorite publishers. <laughs> uh, so, that's the wrong way. I'm being stupid. Let's go the right way. I, um, I'm i doing my new format where I play just the first level of the game, then I replay it, and if there's interest, I'll do a full Let's Play. So if you want a full Let's Play of this, do request it. Otherwise, it'll stay at this video. Alright, killed him. Keep quick saving all the time, every few steps. Alright, so... This is where the game wants you to go, basically. I'm going to go ahead and go over here first, and... Alright. And then, this is where the game wants you to go, so let's go here. What's the password? So if you click it once, he says, where's the password? Second time, it goes over here and shows you this area, which honestly is not much help if you don't know the area in the first place. Whoa, getting shot at. That's a quote-unquote ragdoll system. And, uh... It's quite funny, actually, because it, it looks weird after you see it enough times. You can break these. Not those. Got some heavy armor right there. That was totally coincidental. I think it's random. I haven't actually done any testing to confirm that, but I'm pretty sure it is. So now I gotta remember where I found that thing last time. I want to say it was in this general area, but it's hard to remember. Mm, this doesn't feel right. Alright, maybe it was over here. This way. Oh. Alright, yes, yeah, that's, that's not gonna work out. I don't want to fight the cops. They're a pain in the ass. They have a uh, significantly more accuracy, faster fire rate, uh, more health than a normal uh, enemy. So I avoid them. If you don't, if you have your weapon holstered, as long as you don't get too close, they don't do anything. If you get close enough, you do 
sometimes get caught. No, guess not. But if you walk around with a weapon or something, there you go. Just if you get close enough, you get caught. So that's uh, that's what happens. If you want, though, you can always do this. It's good fun. You just walk behind them. Oops. A nice detail. Uh, look at that blood everywhere now. <laughs> I like little details like that. Both on the hand and on the pipe. It's quite beautiful. Uh, that's civilian. Can't kill him. If you kill him, the game will punish you. So, don't. Seriously. I'm not joking. Don't kill him. Alright, so there's that. Just randomly. Oh, I'm going to go in the trash can and pick up a matchbook. Matchbook has some random word on it. I bet this is how you get in the speakeasy. No. Nobody actually thinks like that. No, they just... Why would they even be digging in a random trash can in the first place? I will get to the ironic part of this level. Assuming it doesn't break itself. If it does break itself again, um... I don't know. <laughs> I straight up don't know what I'll be doing if that happens. We'll see what happens when we get there, though. Looks like there's another guy alive. Oh, that one's the police. See, as you can see, they do have a lot more health. Took, you know, what? At least 10 shots. Uh, civilian, okay then. What's the password? So you say the password, and you're in. Hey, don't hurt me. So the sad thing is, you have to hurt them because your person's a mute and they don't know how to communicate. But then you know to enter the lucky hotel. Thank goodness you're so good at communicating as a mute. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, these are scattered around some ammo. It's always good to have. I'm going to go ahead and go over here, I think. Yeah, get these things broken open, see if there's anything useful in them. A little bit of ammo, that's okay. It's money. Fuck, I forgot to mute Steam. No, I did mute Steam. Oh. But then I had to reinstall my audio driver. That's right. Uh, I have terrible luck at times. I just got through a reformat of the computer while I was sick. I was like, fuck it, let's reformat. And <laughs> Oops, I uh, I muted Steam the first time. I'm like, wait, no, this isn't recording right. Need audio driver. Got that, but it reset everything. So now here's one of the worst parts about the game is hunting for the location. You can pull up tab and it says enter lucky hotel. Yeah, that's, that's great. What is that? Uh, you got to find it. <laughs> Not easy. I kind of recall what it looks like. Not fully. And fuck the police. This just sounds like a waterfall. It's beautiful. There. This is the lucky hotel, just as it says. Can't go through the front, so you might as well try the back. Now, the ironic part that I was talking about earlier. First thing I did when I got off the train, that's about where you start over there. Came over here, walked right back in here, and I'm like, hey, there's people shooting at me, which you'll see in a second. I'll shoot at them first. Ha, ha, ha. That's not even a person, is it? That's a person. So, I, but I killed all these guys and it was great. You know, I'm like, I'm so proud of myself. Then I had no idea where to go. So then I walked around some, and I found the thing that says to go to the uh, Lucky Hotel. So useful, right? So yeah, okay. All right. So this door still does not function. First time I tried this, no doors function properly. Oh, he's getting away.
No getting away. Civilian doesn't give a shit. He just keeps walking. Like a good civilian. See, now this door's open. The first time I tried this and played it through, this door did not open. I think it might have been because I tried to previously activate it beforehand, because I guess the first thing I did was come over here, I came up to this door, said open. I tried to open it, it wouldn't open. So I think I broke it by doing that, which is a great strategy. Here's a, here's a pit of fire. Alright, we're done here. Oh wait, we're stuck here. Quick load. Didn't lose any progress, at least. Maybe one of them. Maybe one of the enemies got away last time. I don't know. I didn't see any get away. Anyhow, that's the first level. That's all you'll see. You get some cash for how good you do. And. Uh, if you want to let's play this, request it in the comments. Otherwise, this will be a one-off video. And uh, until next time, this is from YBR. I'll see ya.